I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. This is Plumbing Live Q&A with Roger Wakefield, and yes, that is me. If you want to learn plumbing by receiving the very best information, if you believe that your opinion matters and you want it to be heard, if you really have a love for getting into the trades and better at the trades, and you have a freaking awesome time, or you want to have a freaking awesome time learning it and contributing, Thank you. Uh, number one, I think that you will like it here. What I recommend is hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell. That way you don't miss out on anything. Now, I am jumping over into the chat real quick just because I want to say hello to everybody. How are we doing? Clubino04, what is up? Potato, please. No, thank you. Uh, Sweeney Dunstan, how are you? Good to see you in here, brother. Uh, Jimmy, how are you? Welcome in, everyone. Absolutely. Good to see you in here. Christian Hernandez, what's up? Stan, my brother, what's up, dude? How is everything going? Uh, CSX Train Addict says, this guy is my favorite plumber. Man, I love that. Means we're doing something right. Jimmy DeMillo, how are we? What's happening? Magnolia Plumbing and AC. Uh, man, where are you located at? Just curious. I always like to find out where people are from. I'm assuming there's magnolia trees or you have a connection to it. Uh, I like that. Nightbot says you're welcome, but it also says quit spamming. Yeah, Nightbot is tough on people tonight already. Almost Jimmy's birthday. Well, happy birthday. Happy early birthday to you, Jimmy. Uh, good to have you in here. Angie Claus Caldwell says hilarious. I just accidentally flushed a spoon down my toilet. What should I do? Man, I, I tell you what, Angie, here's the thing. Uh, for a spoon, you might try reaching there with a clothes hanger. If you can't see it, it's probably already gone up and around. You might try and get a little cheap sewer camera to stick in there. You might try a closet auger. I've actually gone to a house and pulled a lady's glasses. She's a lady called Freakin'. And she says, look, don't tell my plumber. I mean, don't tell my husband. But I dropped my glasses down the toilet. And I'm like, well, well, do you really want them out? And she says, no, I do. So I went and got my closet. And I told her, I may get them, but you, you may not be able to wear them. Literally, I retrieved them with my closet auger, hooked them, pulled them out. They were still in good condition. I have my gloves on. I go to hand them to her. She says, yeah, I just dropped them in the trash can. That's good. Smart lady. She didn't want it clogging up the toilet. So fantastic. A closet auger is a great thing. If you can go to Home Depot, uh, go to Lowe's, go to a box store, go to the Ace Hardware. It really doesn't matter. Go somewhere where you can get an auger to, to get it out. Uh, and they got great ones at, at Lowe's. I think it's fantastic. So good luck. Gary Tincher in the house from Salem, Virginia says, I know you're not allowed to use it anymore, but it'd be nice if you could do a video on Quest Pipe. Man, that's been a long time. Uh, Gary, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a funny story real quick. I remember the first time that we did Quest Pipe, Pipe it was on an apartment complex in Dallas. Man, we didn't know much about it. They just threw it out and said, hey, guys, here's Quest Pipe. Use it. Squeeze the fittings. Squeeze the ring. You're good. Squeeze the, the – I the, had a name for it. Anyway, squeeze it. It's good. I literally – man, we had popped this whole building. They did not test it before they sheetrocked. They didn't have water ran back to this clubhouse or whatever it was. I remember when they turned on the water, I walked in. It looked like a sprinkler system. I just walked out. It's like, you know what? This ain't going to be no fun. 
uh yeah it, it was a lot of fun ended up having to pull all the sheetrock in there go through every joint recheck it based on what i done and this was man this was the early 80s early to mid 80s quest had literally just became popular here and man i know then this is going to be a problem csx train addict how are we good to see you San Chubik, i want to be a plumber too man uh Matter of fact, we, we've already had people tell us where, where they're from and what they want to be or what they are. Do me a favor. In the comments, and man, I got to try something new, and I may have to call my guys in here for a minute before they get out of here. Uh, if you are in the trades, even if you're not, put where you're from and what you do. If you're a plumber in Dallas like me, say, I'm a plumber in Dallas. Uh, matter of fact, put, I'm a residential plumber, service plumber. Whatever you want to put, tell us a little bit about you. Love to find out what's going on. Sasha, hello. Good to see you in here. How are you today? I hope everything is wonderful. And Harvey E., good day to you. John Travers, how are you? Good to see you. Seth just turned 19. Good to be here. I'll tell you what, Seth, by 19, not when I, not just turning it, but at 19 is when I really started getting serious about becoming a plumber. And had a, had a young child. So I remember when he was born at 19, I was going to get my plumbing exam or going to take my plumbing exam. Stan, yes, busy, busy. Life is great. Pex pop can't be exposed, can be exposed to sunlight. Can't be. And again, it can make it brittle. It can do a whole lot of different things. You're right, Jimbo. Christian Hernandez. Hello. Good to you. Gazer Gazer. Hello from old lighty. How are we doing? I know your plumbing is in Shreveport. Cool deal. I'm going to a mastermind this week down there, or later this week down in New Orleans. Looking forward to it. CSX train addict. Love your comment. Uh, man, I'm full of comments. I'm full of a lot of stuff. Sasha is in Australia. Good to have you in here. I love it. So good morning to you. And I know that it's actually what probably six or seven in the morning, depending on where you're at. Good to have you in here. I love it. Sasha, are you in plumbing or you just like my mustache? One or the other. Liam, how are you doing? Good to see you in here. Joe T. Ryder, what is up? Okay. CSX says, love your content, not your comment. Christian Hernandez is down in Florida. John Travers works for Mullen Plumbing. We got Ocala, Florida. We got a few people from Florida in here. Mr. Highway 03, good to see you in here again, as always. I appreciate it. Love the content. Yeah, Jimbo's got a good idea. If you can get a magnet that like you can tie a string to and maybe flush it down the toilet where you can pull it back, you might be able to grab it with that. Uh, yeah, she will end up with crappy sight. She put them readers on, I promise. Harvey says, cable retrieved plenty of glasses. Yeah, from his Coles account. You know, and, and, and that's a good thing. That There's a lot of different things you can do. You, you can... You can make it work. If you really want to get it out, you'll get it out. Uh, just saved me a huge plumbing bill. Found one for $18. Good deal, Angie. And like I said, you may try the string magnet. There's a lot. Man, there's so many different things. General augers. You know, I like the rigid, the flex shaft, the one that you can extend out six, three more feet. So, man, it's great. Uh, yeah, inspection mirror and a light. Yeah, if you do that. Magnet may be able to get right on it. Can someone explain Quest Pipe? It's like an old PE or PB polybutylene. Uh, man, it just, it, it was a problem. It was a problem. Look up polybutylene. See what it tells you about it. How do you determine the pipe size from the hydraulic load? Uh, you've got to know how many fixtures, how much pressure. There's a lot of things you need to know. There's charts on it. It's normally not just something you memorize. You normally look at it at a load calculation chart. Uh, I'm like Mario, but, but without powers. What makes you think I don't have superpowers, Jimmy? And I would surprise you. Mr. Guitar Guy Adam, how are we doing? So, so I've been trying to talk my coworker into getting rid of the shark bites on his home water heater. Yeah, I would. Thaddeus is in Dallas, German plumber. Good to have you in here. Mr. Guitar Guy Gordon says, I'm a maintenance technician for a company called Barletta Boats, Boats, Barletta Boats in Bristol, Indiana. 
And see, you know what? I understand that automobiles, they, they have a, a push together fitting. Uh, yeah, those of y'all that want to, want, want let me see how I can do this. I am trying to do something neat. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Share screen. See if it'll tell me. Oh, I've got to bring this one up. Go watch this. I'm working on something here. Oh, it's come. Oh, that ain't it. Let me escape from there. Okay. So here's what we're going to say. Anybody in here post Roger Rules, R O G E R. Are you? Uh, oh, wait, it's over here. There we go. Now let's try this. So that is so. Okay, so see, y'all are in for the train wreck, but you get to see the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to come to this one right here. Oh, and it won't let me do, this is to do a window. There we go. Okay, so I'm sharing a screen right here. And as you see, it says Roger Rules. Guys, y'all know that we're doing a Christmas, we're doing a giveaway. If you are interested in winning a bidet toilet seat, and that is exactly what this is. It's got a heating tank here. It's got the spouts that stick out down here. And this one is not used. I wouldn't be holding it like this. Uh, but we're going to be giving a couple of these away. There's different ways that you can win them. You'll do different things to get points, but if you'll put Roger rules like it shows right there, what will happen is it will enter you in the drawing. So anybody interested in winning of a day toilet seat, and I highly recommend it. I've got one just like this at my house. You guys, you can laugh all you want to, but I'm telling you, you put a bidet toilet seat in, your woman is going to love you. And we're doing this. We're, we're going to give away a couple of them right here before Christmas. And there will be different ways to do it. Uh, but, man, what 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 a deal. Win a $600 toilet seat to give away. So anybody think that's a good idea? Uh, yeah, put Roger Rules in there. I don't know if you've got to do it just like it shows. Let's see if it'll. Okay, so it went to there. So let me go here again. I don't know if you've got to put all caps like this. Uh, let me see if it'll add a strain. There we go. I don't know if you've got to put it in. Capital R Roger, capital R rules. I would recommend it, but try that. Let's see what happens. And we will go back to me. So I'm going to come back over here and see. I've got some people that have put it in there. And Colton, I saw that you're in here. You might let me know what happens then. I, I know it enters them into a drawing. We're putting you into Gleam IO. We're going to do a drawing. We're going to give one away that way. We're probably going to give another one away. We may do a drawing live right here next Monday. So, guys, if you don't win tonight, come back next week. Uh, one of the things, too, is, is to share stuff. You get points. I don't remember what all point structure is, but, guys, man, what what a way to what, – what a neat thing to win, though. <clears throat> all right, maintenance technician, where to go? There we go. Steve, how are you doing? Dayton, Ohio, retail meat cutter, John – Travers, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Mullen Plumbing. And I had a, a good friend of mine come into town yesterday from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, do you ever go eat at Nick's Grill over on, I think it's Penn Street? John, I got to tell you, it's one of my favorite places. How do you determine a pipe size from the hydraulic flow? We talked about that a while ago, the hydraulic load. Jimbo used to play a video game with a famous plumber, Mario. I get it, man. I hear that quite often. Second year plumbing apprentice in Colorado, diesel mechanic in Lima, Ohio. Good to see you. Plumber in Ontario, Canada. Plumber, Texas, my own shop. Stan, good for you. Josh Sansone, Indianapolis, Indiana, first year stationary engineer apprentice. Man, that's cool. Josh, first year apprentice. I, I love that. 
Uh, I'm assuming you mean sanitary engineer. Uh, stationary, you're probably not going to get much movement out of it. Christian Hernandez has a toilet. It's a toilet upstairs, master bathroom. Located main clog in that line. When backup would occur, toilet would leak at base of toilet. New wax ring or flange replacement needed. Yes. Uh, a lot of times when toilets back up, when, when they, they fill up and people try to plunge too hard, they'll push that wax out. It's definitely recommended that you take care of it. You don't want to, to have a big water leak around there. So, Christian, yes, you act, absolutely need to do that. Sasha is a high school student in Australia. Good for you. Sasha, how did you hear about me? And, and I'm curious just because I do a lot of work with some people over in Australia, Tiger Fish Tools, uh, a great product. If y'all hadn't seen it, you ought to check it out. But, man, I just I love those people. Rose Woodruff says, I'm a material handler in the electrical trades, the clogged kitchen sink in the wall. And Rose, I get it. <clears throat> clogged kitchen sink in the wall, you can probably go get a top sink snake from the box store. Rigid has one. General has one. General has one I love. Literally, you hook it on your drill, you squeeze it, it shoots a little quarter to five sixteenths cable out. Uh, if it's in the wall, that should take care of it. It would be really worth the investment because that's something you can use on lavatories. Sometimes you can even stick it in the sink and not even, if you don't have a garbage disposal, just a riser and a P-trap, you don't even have to take it apart. It's really nice. Gary Tinker says he's a plumbing mechanic, non-licensed plumber. Uh, not sure what state you're in. Uh, and cool thing is some states don't require a license, some states do. Jake from Rhode Island, good to see you in here. Jake from State Farm, uh, that's almost the way you wrote Jake from. That's the first thing I thought. Jake, good to have you here from Rhode Island. John Travers is a commercial plumber. Yeah, Sasha says it's 9 a.m. there. Good deal. I'm glad you're here, Sasha. Thank you very much. Now, Sasha, you're in trouble because if it's 9 a.m., why aren't you in school? Just asking. Uh, welcome to the new member, Mr. Ricky. How are you? Good to have you as a member. Uh, and we're in the middle of creating a Facebook group to get people over there. Uh, those of y'all that don't know it, we have another YouTube channel. <clears throat> and I'm telling y'all about this because I normally don't tell people all the time. But we are literally working on getting this thing up and going. We are scheduling stuff for a podcast. We're scheduling a lot of different stuff, but this is going to be cool. And we're going to be doing some cool giveaways over there, too. So, uh, let me see if I can go right there. So, if I click on this, and that gives me that, and I copy it right there, and I put it right there. Let me try it over here, too. Just for the fun. See, man, y'all are here for the big show. Man. I. All right, so I put the link in. That that is where it is. Go over there and subscribe. We're going to be doing some cool stuff over there. A lot of interviews with some amazing trades people from around the country, people that have grown businesses that want to grow businesses, not just plumbing, plumbing, electrical, roofing, HVAC, and I'm talking to welders and iron workers and all kinds of cool stuff. So I think this is just going to really be cool. Jimmy is from New Zealand. Uh, yeah, stand right. She might see with a mirror and light. How do I be like you, man? Nobody wants to be like me. Here, guys, here, here's the deal. If one of you want to start your own YouTube channel and you call me and says, Roger, what, 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 do, what do I do? I want to do what you do. Number one, don't be me. And the reason I say that CSX, train addict, the one thing I can't do is be you. And if you be you, man, just be you. That is so wonderful because... I mean, you've got your own stories, your own messages, your own your own style. Uh, I looked around and, and watched other plumbers. And I thought, man, I don't want to do stuff like them. I want to, I want to do this my way. So that's what I would tell you. Don't be like me, man. Be you. Uh, I promise. What I do is not hard. Anybody can do what I do. It's not hard. You can do it better. Just just learn to do it. <clears throat> 
Tom A says, just bought a house and am moving the sink in the kitchen. Pipes are in a crawl space. It's inch and a half copper pipe for the drain. What's the best way to connect new sink to what's left of the copper drain? Number one, I would probably convert it from copper, go to something else. You don't want to run a bunch of new copper over under the house. That can get expensive. I'd find a way to transition to PVC if you can. That's just my thought. And Mr. Colton says, just what we talked about a while ago. If you will comment, Roger rules. That's going to enter you in a Christmas giveaway. And I'm just... I guess y'all can even see that. I'm going to say, I'm going to put this up here. Let me see if I go to camera three. Uh, yeah, you can see it right there. Watch this. Watch this. Let me make this go away. And that's what this is all about. We are giving away a bidet toilet seat. This is a good one. This is the exact one I have under my house. I mean, on my house, in my toilet, in my guest bathroom. And I'll tell you how good it is. When I got to go to the bathroom and I'm in my bedroom, I go to the powder bath instead because that's where the bidet toilet seat is. And it's warm and it's comfortable. So that's what I would do. There it is again. Guys, put Roger Rules in there. Uh, I want to jump over here and see. So see, right now we have already got 17. Oh, well, I messed it up. Giveaway. Let's see. Here we go. Uh, well, I've already messed it up. All right, so Roger Rules. Uh then if you can come in here and show me what to do. Let me see. Let's see. There we go. Oh man, it said I had 17 a while ago, and now it's saying I'm down to 16. So here's what we'll do. We're, we're gonna give away one of these tonight. So guys, don't go anywhere. We are going to give away a $600 toilet seat tonight right here. So hang around. We'll do it in a little bit. I'm not going to tell you when. Figure it out. You know how the big things build up to the climax and then it's where it is. Watch it. But we are going to be giving one away tonight. $600 a day toilet seat going away tomorrow. This is speaking of flex sewer system. I got one. Roger, did you get one yet? They are great. Flex. Oh, the flex shaft. Yes. I love those. Jimmy says, do Minecraft let's plays? No. Mr. Howie, I'm apprentice plumber in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Juvenile Dominguez, Juvenal, says, hi, digging for a gas line. Hopefully I find it. Come some gold. Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? So, man, we shot a video today. Matter of fact, there's a video coming out in an hour and 15 minutes about a plumber finding cash in the wall. Guys, you need to check this out because we we did a good one. It all says, uh, yeah, hopefully you find gold too. Namana, hello, how are you? Uh, Jimmy's from New Zealand. There we go. There's the Roger rules. There they're coming, guys. Put them in. I mean, the entries are going up. I'm telling y'all, we're giving this away tonight. So I would, I, I, I would jump in there. Uh, repairing a lot of gas leaks. Roof hole. Oh, yeah. You know what, Stan? I, I get a lot of calls for that. Uh, man, roofers. But then again, normally if you go back and look at things, it says that the plumber or somebody should install nail protection if it's installed too close to the roof. So a lot of times that comes back on the plumber. Jimbo, thank you. CSX. Um, a Butler Outdoors Canada. Hello. Happy Monday. Good to see you. I would assume you're from Canada. Good to have you in here. Nelson Guzman says, hey, I'm here digging a trench, new gas line, Pacific Palisades, California. Man, it's a, what, 2.30 there, warm and sunny. Man, you're having a beautiful day. Jimbo says, would you ever buy a used bidet toilet? Here's the deal. Believe it or not, why not? It's porcelain or it's plastic, it can be cleaned, it can be bleached. A lot of things can be done. But here's what I'll tell you. <clears throat> when we were struggling with for toilet paper, there were people that would have bought a water hose. <coughs> I 
So lots of different opportunities, but yeah. No reason not to. Jake says Roger Rules, Stan, Roger Rules, Rose Woodruff, Roger Rules, Dr. Shocker 600, having an, ins an issue with an inspector passing a tankless Navion water heater exhaust pipe. Use clear primer on. <laughs> uh, excuse me, guys. I am sorry about that. Uh, use with clear primer. Is it code? Uh, you'd have to check your local code and addendums. I don't comment about code here. The reason being, they can have addendums in here that I don't know about. Uh, man, check everything. Or ask him if he'll check. Can you show me where it is in the code book? I, did, I wasn't aware of that. Rose, we always have fun. Logan says Roger rules. Joey, Ricky, Stan. I don't know which one of y'all it is, but I'm allergic to one of y'all. All right, so we are giving away a $600 toilet seat here in a little bit. And as you see, what you got to do is put Roger rules into the comments. That will get you registered. Magnolia Plumbing says we're in Shreveport, Louisiana. Actually, the operations manager name is Ashley. Love your content. Love to share with my guys. Both my husband and brother-in-law are plumbers. We do residential and commercial service and remodel work. Good for you. Ashley, number one, thank you. Uh, I, I love it when people share this information. Uh, I really think, guys, the trades needs to grow. And by sharing this with more people, they share it with more people. More people find out about it. So what I'm going to ask you all is if you will please share it with 4,000 of your closest friends. Nothing more than that. Just 4,000 of your closest friends and, and only good people because that's what we want. So 4,000 of your closest friends that are only good people. We'll be happy with that. So thank you very much in advance. Jimbo, uh, I think you spelled that a little wrong. But that's okay. Butler. Jimbo, Jimmy, it says you're buffering. Oh, it says I'm buffering. Well, thank you very much. I love being buffered. Uh, Dr. Shocker 600 is in. Tom A is in. Stan says Roger rules with a big G. Butler Outdoors Canada says Roger doesn't rule. Uh, Jimmy, yeah, I don't think so. Stan says Roger rules. Brody Roberts. Probably just want to see the purple primer. And, you know, that's probably all it is. That way they know it's there. Dr. Shocker 600, Joe T. It's like Grim. Did you ever know anyone who struggled with plumbing at first only to do great? First year apprentice and not the greatest, but I try to be enthusiastic, learn as much as I can. You know, Hudson, and, and this is a great question, guys. And if you're a plumber, put, put your comment in here and tell me tell me what you think. Because, yeah, you know what? Everybody doesn't pick it up just really fast in the beginning. But Hudson, what I'll tell you is that the desire, the want to. If you really want to be a great plumber and you come in and, man, you just, you, you kick it. Uh, hey, look, I really want to be good. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. It, 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 it'll help you out. So, guys, and, and I think you get extra points for sharing this. So, if you'll share this in your group, if you'll share this to your Facebook, to, to your a group of friends that you have or whatever, if you share this, if I'm not mistaken, you get more points. You might go into Gleam Island and check. I know we had the last one set up like that. Uh, but I see this. Yeah, Dr. Shocker says, but is it code, though? And that's why I always ask. Uh if you share it, I think you get more points. Uh, more entries is really what it is. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, we are giving away a $600 bidet toilet seat right here. What, three weeks before Christmas. Whoever wins tonight, we will get that mailed out tomorrow. Uh, get that headed to them. That way, man. You'll have it for Christmas. And we're going to do another one next week. So what I would tell y'all, share this with anybody. Uh, that way, 
need to get more entries. It'd be good for you. Jake says, having two bathrooms renovated, what size specs would you recommend? Showers will have a rainfall head. Basement plumbing is half inch copper. Uh, I would, for two bathrooms, I would run three quarter inch, especially if you're going PEX, I'd run three quarter inch to everything. And I'd still be worried that the fittings might be undersized too much. I would, if it was my house personally, I would run one inch and then would not run smaller than three quarter to anything there. <clears throat> But I uh, believe that the PEX fittings create a flow restriction, less volume. If you're running multiple things, you'll know it. Dr. Shocker 600 says, can you not run clear at all? Yeah, or use clear at all? Yeah, you can use clear. Normally, it's on fixtures, under cabinets, places where you, know, you don't want to take the chance of getting purple primer on anything. Ninja J says, taking a shower while listening to the Q&A. Shower is working great. Uh, man, that's fantastic. Maybe a little too much information, but you know. Now, if I was taking a shower while y'all were listening, that might be a little weird too. So, you know, we're, we're all right. Mitch Bartons is currently getting ready to go to work in Australia. And I love it. I got so many Australia people in here. <clears throat> that is cool. Thank y'all very much. King Check says, what's up, buddy? Man, just another beautiful day. Have not been there. John Travers Colton says, if you were in the drawing, make sure you don't to message us on Instagram so we can get your information and you get your very own today toilet seat. Yeah. Matter of fact, that, that's good. Cause I don't know how we've got this set up. <clears throat> Normally when you put that in, it should collect your name and email address. If it doesn't, please let me know because, uh, we will need you to send us a message on Instagram letting us know your name, address, mailing address, all that stuff. Powerhouse engineer. John Travers been a plumber for six months. Fantastic. Why does my house smell like sewage? Uh, you know, Robogo did 23. Here's what I would tell you. You've probably got a lavatory or a toilet that you, I mean, a lavatory or a tub that you hardly ever use. Your trap probably got dry, and now you've got sewer gases all through your house. I would walk through the house and just turn every plumbing fixture on for 10 seconds, 12 seconds. You're just trying to fill up a P-trap, and I think you'll be good. Dr. Sharker says, what are your thoughts on gas track pop? I never have luck with that brand. I've used it before. I had not had a problem with it. <clears throat> it it's, man, you, you've got to have the right tools or right adapters and fittings and everything. But I have never had a leak. So I'm, man, knock on wood, I'm happy with it. Boy. You say you never had a leak, you better knock on something. Uh, Rigid Auger has three stage, six foot extension. General one is just two stages, much, le much less frustrating. I guess I will definitely check that out. I'll tell you what, I love the General Hand Snake, and I think it is amazing. Astro Auditory says, I know this isn't a plumber question, but what is your routine for your mustache? It's simply amazing. And I got to tell y'all, I, I, I wash and condition my mustache. I shampoo it. I condition it. Uh, I comb it. I use an oil on it in, in the mornings. And just like anything else, if you want it to look good, take care of it. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, would you get DMC aid if you played Mario theme song? Uh, yeah, they don't allow me to play anything at all like that. Rose says, I've tried, but it won't go past what seems to be a T. You tried what? The, the magnet, a string? Uh, not sure what you tried, Rose. Rose. Hit the vent. No, oh, hit the bell. If you have not subscribed yet, man, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, I don't know if it gives you any more points or not, but, you know, it's definitely worth doing. I mean, look at this. We're giving away great plumbing knowledge here. And we're having fun. So all you got to do is hit that thumbs up down at the bottom. Hit the subscribe button. It works. Josh Sanson says stationary engineer, powerhouse, boilers, chillers, air compressors, medium voltage electricity, wastewater treatment, basically anything to keep a plant operational, monitor, and maintenance systems. There you go. Ah, UA, UAW, the United Law Workers. Love it. 
There you go. See, see, now you get it from Jimbo. And hit the like button. Come on, people. Talked about that one a while ago. There is the link. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this other YouTube channel, go check it out. We're going to be, and you know, we're going to be doing some cool stuff over there. We got some interviews set up. Uh, so this one's going to be fun. And this right over here, just make that happen. That changes it just a little bit. <clears throat> it could be Blade. It says, do you get paid training to become a plumbing engineer? Here in the United States, uh, could be a Blade. Or Kuya Blade, tell me where you're from. Here in the United States, you do get paid. Uh, you go to work as an apprentice. You go to work in the union. They get you out on the job. You get paid for everything unless, like, in the union you're going to school. But, yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Highway, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jimmy D'Amelio says, turning 10. Good for you. Congratulations. Ryan Hopper says, first year apprentice plumber out of Bloomington, Indiana, and have anxiety about wanting to do something right the first time. So I don't waste time refixing it. Got any advice? Ryan, I mean, you don't need to have anxiety about it. Just understand that, man, if you do things right, that's what it's all about. You literally want to make your customer happy, make your employer happy, make yourself happy. It's nothing to have anxiety about. And just, just slow down, take your time. And, and tell yourself, look, if I do this right, I don't have to come back. It's an amazing feeling. And I love it. <clears throat> so keep doing what you're doing. One day you'll get to where you, you get faster and faster and faster. You'll pick it up. You, you'll be fine. You're a first-year apprentice right now. Learn to do it right. But don't try to be perfect right now. Just learn to do it right. Keep working on it. You're going to do great. King Check says, 20-year-old with almost a year of plumbing experience. What do you prefer between copper, CPVC, and PEX? Go between those three, I like copper. I like PEX if you're going to use expansion PEX. Uh, <clears throat> CPVC, we don't use a lot of here in Texas. On Hopper, it's supposed to be Roger Rules. There you go. Just looking over here. Guys, there's only 27 entries, but there's like almost 50 people in here right now. So I would say put Roger Rules in there, get entered, and make sure that you got a chance to win this bidet toilet seat. Johnny Cunningham, 16-year-old level one plumber in the UK. Uh, Johnny, that's when I started when I was 16. I think that is fantastic. Hudson Graham says, did you start commercial or residential? I'm doing residential new construction, installing PEX water lines, installing tubs, shower pans, and doing diverters. Just want to do a great job and work hard. <clears throat> Hudson, here's what I tell you. Uh, I started, like I said a while ago, at the age of 16 for Johnny there. I started commercial on a, on a commercial remodel. Uh, it's so neat because, man, when I go down to that part of town, I always get excited. What I'll tell you, though, is you can always ask yourself, you know, do you want to do commercial or residential? Do you want to do service or new construction? Do you want to be union or non-union? There's a lot of things to ask yourself. There's a lot of things to figure out. But, man, what I will tell you is, you know, learn everything you can. You've got the opportunity to change later, but learn everything you can. Mike, thank you. Jimbo, thank you. Gilbert Daniel, Local 78 out of los angeles third year apprentice watching your videos ever since love your videos gilbert thank you so much hudson says roger rules magnolia architectural sheet metal 101 in the house how are we doing it's so good to see you in here i don't know i, just, I don't know what i did let's give you a star over here i don't know if I did anything over here Good to see you in here, though, man. Aaron DeBendello, DeBendetto, Aaron DeBendetto. Man, I hope I got that right. What kind of text, text do you prefer? I like the expansion. I love Upanor. Uh, I know that they're going through a lawsuit and whatnot right now. I tell you, I, 
and I think the stuff works. Gilbert says Roger rules. Michael Taylor says Roger rules. Mike Brozak says the Osteen Church. And I got to tell y'all, <clears throat> I got a video coming out in an hour and five minutes. <clears throat> you need to see it because I asked some really good questions. Uh, man, I, I can't even put the, I can't. See what I can do. I want to go here. Hey, man, I am just trying to break all the rules. No, I can't do it that way. If I go here, maybe content live. Nope, this will be a video, be an upload. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch me do it. <clears throat> okay, so oh, wait, that that one <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go back over here. Bear with me, guys. I promise I'm, I'm working on a good thing here. Maybe it'll let me do it. There it goes. So I'm put this one right here, and boom. I don't know if it'll let you go now, <clears throat> but it might. I'll put it over here. Guys, we're, look, I'm giving away stuff, so I'm just kind of playing around and out. I'm having fun. So I'm going to put this one right here. <clears throat> I don't think it'll let you go yet, but like I said, man, just check it out. Uh, those of y'all that don't know what we're doing, we are... giving away a free bidet toilet seat and it'll be a new one not this one here uh and this one's not used but this is actually a new one we, we pulled out just to use for a, a demonstration but going to be giving away one tonight if you put roger rules in the comments it will enter you in the deal if you win tonight uh and then we'll, we'll do a drawing on here if the person is in here we'll say okay go over to our instagram send us a message uh, this is a $600 toilet seat. We're going to be giving away right here the week before, or right here three weeks before Christmas. And, man, we're going to mail it out tomorrow, so you'll have it by then. And we're going to give away another one next week, so make sure you come back. Christian Hernandez says, oh, I'm supposed to click on you. <clears throat> How do you find a PRV valve, pressure reducing valve? Man, you just, you got to look. Uh, it, and sometimes it's not easy. So I just want you to know that. And, and sometimes it's not fun because there's no time. It could be in the yard. It could be in the building. It could be in the ceiling. It could be anywhere. Johnny Cunnington, how are you? Good to see you. Hello from a 16-year-old plumbing student in the UK. Good to have you in here. Ashley Barrett Jackson says Roger Rules. Guys, if you know anybody you think would like to win a free bidet toilet seat, man, send them a link and say, hey, you need to get in on this. Uh, come in, put your name in. That'd be good. Johnny, thank you very much. Uh, might want to spell that one a little bit different. Matt McCullough, good to see you in here. Everybody got it there. Bob Sheik, why do you choose to become a plumber versus anything else? You know, I, and guys, I'll tell you all my story because I, I think it's actually pretty good. A friend of mine was working with me. I was 16 years old, junior in high school, and I was managing a restaurant. It was a hamburger joint. <clears throat> and the cool thing about it, Bob, is, is man, I, I thought I was just living the dream. And him and I are working one night, and he literally came up to me, and he says, Hey, uh, are you going to do this forever? And I'm thinking, man, I am 16 years old. I'm managing a restaurant. Life is good. And he looked at me, and he said, so... What happens if you get fired or laid off? And he kept talking. He was telling me about his dad and his three brothers that were all plumbers. They loved their job. They made good money. It was two or three weeks later. I either quit or got fired, and I probably got fired. But I called one of his brothers and said, hey, man, look, I'm thinking about getting into plumbing. Can you help me? And he did. He got me a job, and I loved it. Loved it. I did go back to school, graduate with my class on time, 
I worked the last half of my junior year and that summer in plumbing, went back, graduated with my class, had to take a couple of classes at night just to get enough credit, but graduated with my class and I was good. Vic714 says, what way do you think is better nowadays? Running gas, using iron pipe, threading, or <clears throat> mega press or track pipe. I got to tell you, man, I love the mega press. Uh, I think the mega press is phenomenal. I've done a lot of stuff with it for not just gas, but, but compressed air too. I like threaded pipe. Uh, you know, I'm not real big on the CSST, but you know, a lot of people are. I've done it. I've done repairs with it. So I like mega press and screw pipe. Stan says he's got a new apprentice. Her name is Ashley. Well, number one, Ashley, if you're here, welcome to the trades. Jimmy says Roger rules. Matt says Roger rules. Who man poo. What's the deal with the Roger rules? Is it the cult signal to drink the poison? It's tonight a brown night. No, tonight is a white night. Uh, <clears throat> guys, we are giving away an American standard bidet toilet seat right here. Uh, we're going to, we're going to do this later. Uh, but this is a toilet seat. It's got a tank here, heated water, all the connections, a remote control. I'm telling you guys, that this is something you want to win, especially right here before Christmas because it's going to be nice. And that's a present you don't have to buy. All you have to do, like we talked about a while ago, is put Roger Rules into, let's do this, yeah, give me a little credit here. Put Roger Rules into the comments and it will enter you. And as you see right now, we have 38 entries. <clears throat> now y'all see what I see. <clears throat> Sean says, stumble across your channel when you posted a video about how someone filled their entire bathtub with Orbeez, clogged up the plumbing in their bathroom. And man, I'll tell you what, and, and I heard later, somebody said, look, that video wasn't real. Man, it was done pretty good. It looked pretty real. Man, I am behind. I'm almost 20 minutes behind. I got to get sped up on the comments, guys. Uh, anyway, yeah, we, we enjoyed it. Thought it was great. Butler, Outdoor, Butler Outdoors Canada, thank you very much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. That is says nothing beats trench time. Man, a lot of fun. It'll be says silicon or plumber, mate. Uh, I like using putty myself. I don't silicone anything. Dr. Shocker says, interested pro press for a black iron. Thoughts on the best brand? Uh, I've got the old big rigid. I love it. I've used the Milwaukee. I've used the Nipco. Man, I don't know if Nipco does mega press or not. But my big rigid does, and I gotta tell you, I love it. Yep, mega press. Stan says Upanor, that is my favorite. Aaron says Roger rules. Just got here. What drawing, Donnie? If you if you just heard, I know you're man. I'm moving slow tonight. Uh, if you just got in, we are giving away an American Standard bidet toilet seat tonight. If you know anybody that might want to win it, and share this video with them, we actually have. 39 entries right now. Stands to sweat copper. I love it. Yeah, LB, he's right. Ron Harper, you're a first year apprentice. You're going to make mistakes. Jake says, thoughts on a steam shower? I was considering one in the master bath renovation. I uh, considered about how they seal the penetrations through the waterproof membrane. I got to tell you, I've done, I've done tile work on one. I love them. I think they're cool. I wish I had one at my house. That's the truth. Donnie says steam showers are awesome. Uh, Alex Brett says, I like your channel. Very cool. Thank you very much. There's the steam showers are awesome. Notbot says, have you seen our merch? Oh, we've got some cool stuff. We're working on some cool stuff too. Aaron the Benedetto, the Benedetto says, for sure, apprentice and we'll put in condensers. I have no idea what's going on. How do they work? And that, that's longer than I can tell you right here. 
but basically it's pulling the moisture out of the air off the pipe stuff like that that's the condensing system so when you're putting in condensers that's not really how it works but it's all tied to it ever done anything with steam functions on dryers if so is there a conventional way to run it from the laundry box or bowl again? You know, yeah, uh, there's a really conventional way. You put a Y branch on it, and it works. I've got one hooked up on mine. I don't have a problem with it. Jimmy says the only thing he knows about plumbing is how to plunge, and that's a good start. Ninja J says, would you say the typical plumbing job uses a lot of problem-solving skills, or is it more just to the tasking it out? Ninja, it really depends on, on what you're doing. Uh, I think that that's why I love, I love being a service plumber. Uh, we, we have a very analytical job. We walk in and we're looking for problems. You've got to be a good problem solver. Construction might be a little bit different. There's still some problem solving, but most of that is just get in, get it done, and get out. Miguel says, greetings from New Jersey, gas or electric tankless water heater. And it's, it's tough to say. Uh, probably gas, but, but here's the deal. If your house has gas, you're going to use gas. If it has electric, you're... Electric's your only choice. Uh, normally, that's what I tell people. What, what do you have in now? You have a tank top, and I said tank top gas water heater. You're, you're probably going to go a tankless gas. If you go a, if you have an electric water heater, you're gonna, probably going to electric. But either way, you're probably going to need more gas and more electricity depending on whichever one you have. So, good luck. Stan says, gas, do you have any merch we can buy to support the channel? <clears throat> yeah, Andrew, if you'll scroll down somewhere, I don't know. There's a link down in the comments, I think, to the merchandise. Uh, actually, if you scroll down under the, the description, there's a mask. There's some stuff. You can hit the arrows. And we've got hoodies. We've got shirts. We've got stickers. All kinds of stuff. So, Andrew, thank you very much. Bernard Brown says, how do you fix a leaky pop in the back? Uh, you may have to change the pot instead of fixing it. Plumber man, I've seen some thankless electric water heaters that work pretty well. Most of the time around here, people change them out to gas, but I have seen electric that have done a good job. <clears throat> Adrian Levis is about to journey out next month, Mr. Wakefield. Thanks for your great advice. All the way from Southern Cal. Man, congratulations to you. We are actually, uh, th those of y'all that know me know, I I've got a program out, a digital course called Getting Into the Trades. It's for people that want to get out and get into the trades and put themselves in a position to move up to leadership roles, you know, foreman, superintendent, project manager, stuff like that. Neat thing about it is that the next one, the next one we'll release will actually be Grow. So we've got Get, G-I-T-T. -T, then we've got Clear, C-L-E-R, which is about becoming the best journeyman you can be. Then we have Rise, which is about coming up and starting your own company. And then we have Grow. And, and Grow is, you know, grow your network, relate socially, own video, and words are key. And, you know, and I, I teach people how to do the things to start their company and grow it and make money and, man, make a good living. This is a wonderful trade we're in. So, anyway, congratulations to you, Adrian. I, I hope that helped. Carl, Roger Rules? Yes. Guys, if you will say Roger Rules, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to screen share it again because, boom, there we go. <clears throat> if you'll put Roger Rules in the comments, it will enter you in the contest and like i showed y'all we're giving away an american standard bidet toilet seat i'm going to send it to you you're going to have it before christmas it's going to be wonderful uh okay not sure who that is <clears throat> anyway i hope that, that works and i hope that, that helps it was says possible to see an early list to confirm we got entered uh it won't even show me the list jimbo it just tells me to hit a button to do the drawing uh what i would say guys is if you're concerned 
put Roger rules in again. If you're in, I'm assuming it'll already let you in. I don't think it's multiple entries. If Colton is in here, which he's probably already gone, uh, we'll figure it out. VIC714 says, looking to buy Slab Leak Detector. What brand do you recommend? Uh, I've got a couple that I use. I, I like Leaktronics. I like Leak Pro. Uh, Leak Pro has been really, really good. Uh, Leaktronic is good if you want to expand into other things like swimming pools and stuff like that. They are both phenomenal. Uh, I'm actually in the middle right now of designing my own equipment because that means there's a lot of things these things don't do that I wish they did. So, mm, good luck to you. Good thing about Leak Pro and Leaktronics, they both have training out in California. There you go. Don't forget to like it and share it with a friend, as that is what it's all about. And here's what this does. Number one, and, and I don't know if y'all know about subscribing, but if you subscribe, it just tells YouTube that, look, people like what we're doing, that we're doing good content that's worth coming back for. Uh, that's the same thing the thumbs up does. But when you subscribe, they, they, they know that you probably like it a little bit more. All right. Sean A806 is not a plumber, but an appliance repair tech and surprisingly some plumbing involved. Absolutely. <clears throat> Congratulations to you. I hope says you were 16 when you started. How long were you doing this before you felt comfortable going out by yourself? Uh, you know, Ryan, that's a good one. I, I literally probably, man, I had been plumbing for a couple of years before I really understood it. And once I understood it, I started doing in apartment rough ends by myself. Not always by myself, but they'd let me go off by myself and do things. It was probably, you know, three or four years after that, three or four years after I got my journeyman that I got a job with the service company and started going out and running a truck. But literally all they did is throw me in a truck and say, go. Uh, there was no training, no nothing. And I knew nothing about service. They were T&M. So they were like, look, he'll figure it out. And while he figures it out, somebody's going to pay him. So it, it, it worked. Johnny says, late got to get to college early so i'm going to hit that bell good deal thank you so much johnny i do appreciate that very much guys there's the link to the other youtube channel that we're, we've got going uh neat thing is we're, we're already over 100 subscribers uh we haven't even put a video up yet so that is what's coming next we are going to shoot a bunch of podcasts and interviews and some different things this thing over here is going to be cool facebook Facebook, there it is on my other Facebook, there it is on YouTube. Man, what a way to go. What's over there? It went different. Jimbo says, okay. So, okay. So the other one was the link to the video. Okay. And and it is, guys, it's private until 545. <clears throat> so in 45, y'all can go check that out. Thank you very much. It says, Roger Rules, uh, freaking awesome. Mr. Wakefield, keep doing your thing. Fung and gods must be proud. You know what? I tell you what, I love what I do. I do get to have fun. Miss Amber Mendoza entered. Roger Rules, thank you so much. <clears throat> Steve Gardner, Donnie, Baba Shake, how we doing? John Les, Wizzy says, greetings from Sweden. <clears throat> Boy, that'll be a fun one. Uh, guys, we, we can't only ship that into the internal United States, just so you know. Jersey boy, Roger Rules. You know, if you want to fly over here and pick it up, man, that would be cool. Uh, D-A-N-O-B-1, Anobi, Roger Rules. Yeah, elbow cough, man. I, I got it going on tonight, guys. <clears throat> trying to clear my throat. I'm not sure what it is. King Check says, what was your best catastrophic accident in the trades? Uh, I flooded an apartment building, trying to unscrew toilet supply line off an angle stop, uh, not holding sturdy. It came off of my hand. PVC, CPVC was old and snapped in the wall. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, luckily, and I've got to say, I, I've never done anything really catastrophic. Uh, I do know a plumber that had a storm sewer line under test. And when he pulled the test ball, it flooded the basement. 
The problem was they had tables and chairs and a buffet set up down there. They had all the owners coming in for a building preview. Yeah, not a good thing to do. Steve Gardner says, I've been waiting for a test date from Texas Tech Board for over 90 days. Does that seem too long? I call and they never answer. Steve, I would keep calling until somebody answered. <clears throat> call the different extensions directly. Uh, man, if you need to, look up Lisa Hill's extension. Call it. And, and leave a message and say, hey, man, look, this is crazy. They Or maybe call the application area. If there's anything on your application that didn't get filled out, out right or you didn't send them something, they literally set it aside thinking you're going to do it later. So, man, yeah, get on it. Steve, where are you located at? Dean Soper, thank you very much. Good luck. Jeff Stowers is in Chase Hackett. Uh, watching this to try to build up the courage to tackle this horrific toilet change out. You know what, man? A toilet change out isn't too terribly bad. Uh, man, just know what you're doing. Oh, yes, I'm a 28 year old accountant from Europe. I have two left hands when it comes to working with my hands, starting a plumbing course just for fun, trying to do some stuff around the house. Oh, yeah, man, I hope that this works out. Uh, and oh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll go ahead and highlight that. Oh, yeah, I really do. I, I hope that it works out. Uh, Chase Hackett, I've actually, it's funny, if you go over to American Standards YouTube channel, search Roger Wakefield, I've got a video where I show how to change out a toilet. But all I ask is that when you go over there and do it, leave a comment. Oh my God, I love Roger. He's a great plumber. Matter of fact, anybody here who does that, I will find a way to get y'all additional points for the drawing that we do next week. You just got to tell me. But go over to American Standards YouTube channel. Search Roger Wakefield or toilet or something like that. <clears throat> There's me. I'm with a guy named Chad. Uh, I go over and show him how to change out a toilet. If y'all go over and leave, you know, a bunch of comments that say, oh, my God, I love Roger Wakefield. He's a great plumber. Th that would be hilarious. Michael Brennan sent a super sticker. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I don't know why I'm not seeing them over here on the live feed. I hadn't seen any of those pop up, but Michael, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Yes, V1C714. If you can only carry five tools in your tool bag, which five tools would you choose? A tape measure, a multi tool, a four way screwdriver, a pair of channel locks, and a crescent wrench. And I would hope to God I didn't need a hammer. And really, if those are in my toolbox, tool bag i guess the multi-tool could be in my pocket drain medic man what did you miss you need to put roger rules <clears throat> oops there you go you need to put roger rules in the comments that will get you entered in the drawing we are giving away we are giving away an American standard bidet toilet seat. Guys, this is a good one. This is the exact one that I have installed in my powder bath. I love it. As a tank, stores hot water. Seat is heated. And we are giving it away tonight. We've got 45 entries. If you put Roger rules like it just showed you in the comment, it will get you entered and... And give it away here within a half hour. Suzuki says, tend to be a veteran, want to get into HVAC plumbing. Would you recommend PHCC or the UA? Uh, you, you know what, Su Suzuki, this is good because what I would tell you is that, first of all, you need to figure out what type plumber HVAC tech do you want to be. You want to do new construction or service. Then you want to find out, do you want to be commercial or residential. So there's a lot of things to figure out. I've actually got a free course called Plum Study on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you'll go to like the home page, I think if you go to the home page, go to the top right corner. Uh, there's a link there that'll take you to it. Click on that, go over there, do the free mini course. and It'll help you figure out what kind of technician you want to be. Uh, Man, UA or PHCC, I, th I think that they both do good things. Drain Medic, what you got to do is put in Roger. 
keep uh, put in Roger rules. Drew Pennington says, I have an interview for an apprentice position tomorrow in Burleson. Thank you for your videos and wish me luck. Number one, absolutely. Good luck to you. I hope everything works out well. Emmy R, quick question. Love your channel. And if there was one suggestion you would have for hair in the shower drain, what would it be? I have two teenagers with long, thick hair. Number one, I'd put like a, a basket strainer type thing on there. They've got those little plastic things that it's almost like a, a screen, like a sieve. <clears throat> I used to be a cosmetologist. So, you know, having something like that to catch the hair, then whenever it clogs up, they literally pick it up with their finger and throw it in the trash. So that would be a big deal for me. Oh, sorry, Tim. There you are. Stan says, uh, you see Apex as an American Standard water heaters. We use Apex. Uh, American Standard makes water heaters. I prefer Bradford White, and I have for years. Lorenzo, thank you very much. Trace Hatchet says, literally just got your apprentice card today in the mail today on Waco, Texas. Number one, Chase, congratulations to you. Good luck. I think that is fantastic, brother. There you go. Looking for a bidet toilet seat. Looking, looking. Jimbo says, do you think some people are more sensitive to foul smells? Absolutely. Uh, especially guys with, with, with COVID. I mean, think about it. It's really messed up. Some people smell and taste. So, so, what is it? Uh, it, it's messed up. Some people smell and taste to where they literally, uh, sorry, my, my deal just went off and I swear I, I had it on do not disturb. Anyway, sorry, trying to make it quiet for y'all. Uh, but those of y'all that don't know anybody who puts Roger rules or not anybody, that's true. Anybody who puts Roger rules down in the bottom, we are giving away an American Standard bidet toilet seat. We will mail it to you tomorrow if you're in the continental United States. And you got to put Roger rules in there to get registered. And currently we have 51 entries in there. So just wanted to show you all that. Uh, we'll be doing a drawing here in about 20 minutes. Guys, I'd already tell you, I will not get to all the comments, so please stop commenting. I am fixing to rapid-fire comments, and I'm going to go right over the Roger rules and not even say anything. Rosa says, how long have you been a plumber, and did you ever do anything else? I've been a plumber since 1980. That's when I got into the trades. I've also been a cosmetologist, a massage therapist, a bartender, a bouncer, uh, a restaurant manager. I've done so many different things. Lorenzo always come back to plumbing though because I love it. Roger rules, Roger rules. Roger rules. Matthew says, "What are some challenges you came across owning your own plumbing company?" Man, it's a long list. There's a whole lot of things that we don't know. Uh, I had to learn accounting, billing, uh, training, education, taxes—a uh, million things. Matthew, it's a long list. I finally joined an organization to help teach me that. And I think that that helped me a ton. Lorenzo, Travis says, do you know gross strain cleaning tools? Absolutely. No, I've never used one, though. I've had a lot of plumbers say that they love them. I I'd love to try one. I've just never seen one. My center said, replacing a rather deep water line to your house. What type of PEX connection do you consider to be the most durable underground? I Even underground, I like Upanor as long as it's an expansion PEX. <clears throat> I don't like the crimp pex fittings. Not unless you really upsize it. Uh, Jimmy, I don't know why you want me to rate your comment or your profile. So, uh, Babs, sorry. Didn't know I was your dad, but you know, hey, how are you? Brain Medic is in. Travis is in. Chase, I'm assuming that means you're in. Travis is in. Smash caps. Man, we got the Roger rules in. Jimmy says hello. Is that supposed to be a hello? Bab says only 16. Going to be a plumber when I turn 18 after you're in after you're in Texas. Oh, you are in Texas. <clears throat> after high school. 
Babs, here's, here's what I tell you. Number one, I love your attitude. I'm going to be a plumber. And this is something I just learned at a, at a conference this last weekend. And I really wasn't going to stop and talk about stuff like this. But we need to change the words, I want to I will. We need to change the words, I need to I'm going to. So I love the fact that you said, look, I'm going to be a plumber. Not, I want to be a plumber. I'm going to be a plumber. So, man, congratulations to you. That's cool. Jerry Prusa, that I comment on the video or in the chat? Uh, right here in the chat. <clears throat> you know what I would do? I would go in the, the video too and put Roger rules just to see. Uh, although it won't let you in the video now, so that may not help. Y'all need to go check that, that video out though. I'm telling you. Uh, Roger rules. A basin wrench? Yeah. But if you're down to five, you don't use that basin wrench that often. <clears throat> so let me ask you this, Thaddeus. If you're picking a basin wrench, what tool are you giving up? Roger rules. Babs lives in Burleson, Texas. Good deal. Not very far from me. I'm up in Richardson. Uh, yeah, Jerry Prusa, I think you're right. If I find if I find that you you win and you didn't like this thing, uh, I may have to file a dispute. James Brown likes it. Thank you very much. Smash Caps, how we doing? Just found your channel last night. Went to the Fort Worth Union Wednesday. New to the trades. There's a client. There's a there's a client manning up today. I asked to be on the list for it, but I haven't heard back. Do I call again? I'd give them a few days. I wouldn't call back, you know, since you went yesterday. I wouldn't call back immediately. But I'd call back maybe Wednesday, then maybe again Friday. I like that, though. Number one, welcome to the trade. I hope you love it half as much as I do. Have I ever felt like quitting plumbing? I, I have. You know, I've got out of plumbing a few times to do different things, but I always come back to it. Guys, at the end of the day, I love plumbing. It is amazing. Yeah, congratulations, Chase. Uh, Joe Lace Pipe, huge fan. I had a question for you. Currently doing residential service plumbing. Just wondering if going to the union route would still be viable at 25? Absolutely. As long as you understand the basics about plumbing, they're going to bring you in. I would recommend learning fast. Uh, and th th there's just there's so much to learn to go commercial that, that you don't know. But man, if you'll study it, I got, watch some of the videos I've done. We, we talk about different things, but but go find different places that you can learn commercial work. Absolutely. I love that. Uh, the sensitivity to smells of pro or a con. Man, it all depends. If you're on a sewer cleaning job all the time, it's a con. If you're looking for an odor smell, it's a pro. Either way, and I use a smoke test. I don't want to smell it. Michael says, Roger Rule. Donnie, how do I tell if I'm entered? Jerry, it tells me right now that there are 53 people entered. I would imagine that, that everybody in here that put their name is, is entered. <clears throat> Dan says, did you cut your hair? If you're talking about me, I cut my hair every Monday morning just to get ready for y'all. I look good for y'all, man. Come on. Salvador says, what are fines or penalties you face as a plumber if you perform a non-co job? Fines are anywhere from like $2,000 up to five or $10,000. So Salvador, it meant it's something, and it goes on your record forever. So it's something you really don't want to do. Eli, is construction plumbing worth it? If that's your, what you do, if that's what you love, yeah. Donald's Angry says, Roger bought an 18 volt router and cleaned out my sink tub yesterday. Thanks for the videos and info. No more liquid plumber. Good for you. Peter Frischahan says he's working right now. Isaiah Jones, hello, Roger. Recently got accepted into a college as plumbing vocational class. It'd be better to go to college for the trades program. You know, man, it's different for different people, and a lot of different schools are different. Man, anywhere you can learn plumbing, it's going to benefit you. <clears throat> This is rather than like crimp pack, same as me. Uh, some engineer in you. No, I just I understand that. I understand flow restriction. And man, I just don't think it's right. Peter's at Roto Ritter. Good for you. In Corpus Christi. Isaiah Jones. Hello, Roger. Recently accepted into college. I think we talked about that a while ago. Uh, now, I like learning in the field and the classroom. I used to be a classroom instructor, so I get it. <clears throat> Pro press pricing. Guys, pricing is what it is. Pricing keeps going up. If the company you're working for is not raising prices rapidly, they may not be around much longer because prices are going up drastically, not just plumbing, 
plumbing, HVAC, electrical, roofing, every single bit of it. All right, I am trying to find out. Brandon Johnson says, how do you stay motivated when you have no energy? Second year apprentice in the UA. Most days I enjoy my work, but there are those days where I seem to just drag on. What is your remedy? Man, number one, you, you've got to fall in love with your job, but always look at your end game. What do you want to do? Are you trying to own your own company? Do you want to be a, a foreman, a superintendent? And sometimes we, we've got to motivate ourselves. I would start off, say, what is it that you are, are looking at? What are you watching? You know, I used to listen to country music on the way in. Now I listen to motivational speakers. I motivate myself. I, if I was young learning plumbing right now, I'd be listening to my own videos coming in and saying, look, I want to learn something. I've actually hired plumbers that said, from Houston, moved up here, so that he literally used to sit in his car. He'd go in an hour early and listen to my videos for an hour. He said, Roger, you're what taught me plumbing. And, and you've got to find different ways to motivate yourself, but I would say find it, get on it. It will help you out. Jerry says he searched for, okay, so let me go to, let's see about Uh, so, to their website. <clears throat> yeah, it's funny they, they've got. Sorry, that's not nice. All right, so. I went here, but I'm going to just put the link in here. Uh, link. Paste. Paste. Okay, so that should be in. I should be able to come over here, put it right here. Put paste. Enter. Okay, so that's directly to the video. What I say, guys, is, <clears throat> and I went in and searched Roger, and, and it pulled it right up. Uh, that is, says I use channel locks instead. Get rid of the Crescent Ranch. I completely understand that. <clears throat> Tyler says, Roger, my favorite old-timer to learn and listen for being plumber knowledge. Are you this calm, cool, and collected on the job site? I get frustrated too often. Tyler, on the job site, I'm pretty good. Uh, I can get frustrated. I get frustrated, and I, I, I'm one of those people you tell me wants to do something, I do it and don't have to worry about it. So those are the kind of things I get frustrated about. If I have apprentices or plumbers or, or somebody working with me, that things aren't happening, I'm like, man, come on. All right, next. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to get through these guys. And I am, I don't know if I'm getting close or not. I guess I am getting a little closer. Good. Uh, Isaiah Jones, you're welcome. Travis Compton is a commercial drain cleaner. How do I approach the customer if I find something handy to install that's not up to code? Uh, very politely. You don't ever want to throw anybody under the bus. You, you literally want to say, hey, look, I'm just going to let you know. Uh, I don't know who did this, but this is not installed properly. Uh, it's not per code. And explain why. And if it's going to lead to problems, let them know what should be right, what, what should be done or what didn't, and do it that way. Yeah, Jerry, you're right. Uh, gas is going up. Everything's going up. Did you start YouTube on your own or did someone nudge you? You know, Jimbo, it's funny. I walked into a conference. Uh, I wanted to learn social media, so I thought I was going to learn, learn Facebook. I walked into a room. The guy was talking about YouTube. At first, I thought he was nuts because the first thing he said is, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. I literally started to walk out. The next words he said were, and it's owned by Google, the largest search engine in the world. I thought, then why aren't more people using it? Such a big deal. Andrew Burks is heading to plumbing class right now, not with the PHCC. So I guess that means you're with the UA, which is fine. UA, CEF, anybody. But guys, if you're learning plumbing, you're doing good. I have no problem. Pablo says HVAC rules. Yeah, but so you won't win a toilet seat for that. Pablo, if you put the words, uh, let's see here, I want to make sure I do it right. Guys, if y'all put Roger rules like that into the deal, as you can see, we have 53 entries right now. <clears throat> Hope that that helps y'all. Guys, if you hadn't done it, I'd put Roger rules 
just like that right now, just because we're gonna do the drawing here in about five minutes. And I just wanna make sure everybody in here is registered. Cause then what I'm gonna tell you to do is send me a message on my Instagram. That way we can get you done. All right. So I'm gonna try to get through the rest of these chats real quick. Hey, Dags has had an incident today. <clears throat> Cat climbed in my sink plumbing today. It was hard to remove the cat from the pipe. If this ever happens again, what would be the best way to get it out? And yeah, maybe remove a section of pipe. I'm not sure. That's kind of crazy. Killer Rob, 1998. If I moved to Texas from Connecticut, how would I go about being a plumber? 23 and have no experience. Uh, Killer Rob, you can literally uh, apply from there, uh, possibly get accepted, get your apprentice card. That way, when you come here, you're ready to go to work. We do Zoom interviews all the time. Uh, today we're working at a hotel with about 13 rooms. How many fixture units does that have? Uh, you got to know how many, how many toilets, how many lavatories, how many showers. Uh, there's a chart for that. <clears throat> Parker P. Roger Rules. Aslan. Roger Rules. Tyler Steinmetz. If I'm a plumber without a license but want to make sure I get the company name I want when I get my license, is there a way to do that in Arizona? Yeah, Tyler, what I would do, go ahead start searching the names on Google, go ahead and buy the web domain. That way nobody else gets it. Then you, if you want to, you can probably go down to your secretary of state, find out what y'all have to do in there and you'll be good. Uh, Jerry says, are you accepting multiple entries? You know, I don't know if it does or not, Jerry. I would assume not uh, because I've seen a lot of people put, put Roger rules in. There's 70, there's 57 people in there right now. And I'll show this here in about three minutes. So I'm saying if you hadn't put it in or you have put it in and you want to make sure it's done right, uh, I would literally put Roger rules in the comment just like that. I'm skipping over them anyway, just going to stuff to read, but at least that way you know you're in. Autumn, Autumn Rain says, hey, Roger, just wanted to thank you for your YouTube channel. Recently become an indentured apprentice for the plumbing trade. Appreciate the help. Number one, congratulations to you. Guys, don't get me wrong. I complain about the union a lot, but I also tell people the union has a great education program if you get into the right local. Uh, Autumn, what local? Autumn Rain, what local are you in? Uh, not that I'm going to say anything bad about them, but there's some that I think are phenomenal, and there's some I'm not real happy with, but it is what it is. Parker P. Hey, Texas Riser, is, I believe you call it. That's a huge mess in someone's basement. How do you clean it up? Uh, wet vac, pump, anything you can. Bring a tar says, nice. Craziest drain story. Uh, that was the one earlier about the storm drain leaking and flooding out a party. Chase Hatchet saw a fourplex today. Some guys tried to use pecs and a metric ton of shark bites. Yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> Cannon plumbing and drain. How are we doing? Do it in my sleep. No doubt. Uh, more than welcome. Mr. Sean Strong in the house. Sean Strong put roger rules just like that in the comments we are giving away a today toilet seat we're going to mail it out tomorrow giving it away in about two minutes anybody who has not put roger rules in there like that i would recommend doing it the smurf accounts corn for Roddy parker i love drain addict mr fraser o'keefe how we doing and putting roger rules in you gotta love it remember guys i will ship this to inside the united states if you're outside the united states We'll have to talk about this. Jerry, absolutely. Thank you. Sean Strong says, sorry, crew. No, it's late. Not, and, and it's not the same without you. Uh, I love it. Sean, good to have you in here, brother. Uh, anybody who puts Roger Rules in the comments is registered. Uh, we will be doing a giveaway here in about one minute. So you got one minute to knock it out. And I see that I'm getting more comments. So I gotta, I've got to be quiet. I want to do your gas water heater in a different room from the floor drain in a finished basement. Got to find a way to pop that over to it, TMP, or possibly put it in a drain pan, put a flood stop, see if that's allowed per your code. Aslan in San Antonio. I love that. I just be pulled a wig from a mainline today at the hospital, and I hope it was a wig, not a scalp. Jerry says, Roger, you mentioned the possibility of more than one bidet seat. Do you have an announcement for this week? For next week, absolutely, guys. We're going to give away one of these next week, too. Can't guarantee you'll get it by Christmas just because of shipping, but 
we are going to try. Uh, Tyler Steinmetz says, go to a local that doesn't make you wear a mask to school. Find a local that the contractors don't require vax. Left yours. Roger rules, Roger rules, Roger rules. Autumn rain, not sure what you mean, to be honest. Doing commercial work in Southern Cal. Good for you. Good luck. Uh, there you go, Parker. I appreciate it. Uh, Jimbo shipping outside new S is insane money. Man, it's crazy right now. Uh, I can't enter for a giveaway. If I win, they'll say it was rigged. Number one, it won't be rigged because I'm gonna press a button here in a minute. Y'all are gonna watch it draw. Uh, Czech Republic. Okay, man. We man, I am there. I'm at the end. I love it. I caught up with all the comments. Hello from the Czech Republic. I love that. Luis, gracias. Thank you for being in here. I do appreciate it. Czech Republic, man, I love that. Good to see you in here. Our plumber's going to still have a job by 2024? Absolutely. Matter of fact, by 2024, plumbers are going to be making bank because there's less people getting in the trades. They're going to be worth more money. Uh, yeah, anybody in here who has not joined the subreddit, you need to to see the pictures, the videos, all the content we're doing. Uh, man, I did a whole video on that, Tommy Cod. Check it out. Hey, Dave, just got my license to be an electrician. Uh, went to standard to get your degree. Had to work under journeyman for five years, kind of the same way for plumbing. Switching Texas will be the best water heater possibility. All right, guys, no more comments. Here we go. I am actually going to find out how to make that. Let me do side by side. I want it to do this. Hold on. We're going to make it big. That way y'all can see it this way. I just get to watch. So as y'all see, I've got my mouse over here. I bring right above draw. Uh, look, mom, no hands. I'm going to reach down and hit the mouse. Is there anybody who has not put your name in? Put Roger rules, just like it shows on there. I'm going to give you 30 more seconds to do it. And then I'm going to hit it. And we're going to see. I'll take all the comments away. That way y'all can see everything we're doing. Uh, if you have not put in Roger rules, go ahead and do it now. I'll see if it's changing. I guess everybody in here has put in Roger rules, so I guess we're good. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to hit draw. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look for your name. Look for your name. What came through? What came through? What came through? What came through? And the winner is Steve Gardner. So. See, guys, look. Look how cool that was. Uh, Steve Gardner, if you are still in here, I need you to message me on my Instagram account. I need some information from you so I can get this sent to you. Uh, guys, did, did y'all enjoy this? If you enjoyed this, I got to close this one here out. Actually, I'm going to take a picture of it first, make sure that uh, I got all the information. I'm going to see if it'll let me screenshot it. Sorry, guys. I, just, I need to do this to make sure that everything legit. I don't have stuff about here. Uh, that's okay. I've got Steve Gardner. I can find him. Uh, Steve, if you're in here, uh, man, jump over to Instagram. I need you to give me some information. If not, sorry. Maybe I'll give away two next week if I don't hear from him. Anyway, guys, look, thank you all very much. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. I did put the link in a while ago to the video that's coming out later. It is the one that we did. Oh, sharing all my stuff with y'all, ain't I? Okay. Uh, I put a link in here a while ago. Y'all definitely want to check back in here in about 15 minutes. We've got the video coming up or money in the wall. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please if you like the video, if you've liked what we've done, please give us a thumbs up. If you really like it, ring the bell, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't. Love to have y'all in here. And Steve Gardner, man, you got a bidet toy seat coming your way. Send me some information. So thank you all for being here. It has been wonderful as always. And if we're lucky, I will get to see y'all next time. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video.
you don't get flushed.